Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm looking at this sharp infrared distance measuring sensor again uh, because someone was asking me about uh, improving the resolution uh, of the circuit in the first video and I had mentioned this in the video about um, improving the resolution because uh, by default when you're using the Arduino it's using a 5 volt reference and the maximum output for this sharp distance meter is only about 3.2 volts so you're not using the full capability of the onboard uh, analog to digital converter on the Arduino so you want to if we can lower this reference voltage here we have a, a lower voltage but we're still splitting it up into uh, 1023 pieces so what happens is we end up going from a, a re resolution of about uh, 4.8 millivolts down to about uh, 2 millivolts. So here's that sensor. Now this is the physical sensor here and this is a graph uh, of a typical sensor but it's not necessarily going to be uh, the output from your particular sensor. Uh, this here, um, you know, when they, when they ship these out the door from the manufacturing plant they might test a, a sample but uh, I don't think they're going to be testing each one so that it has this exact characteristic curve. So what you're going to need to do, uh, you can just apply the 5 volts on a ground to this and it's going to give you a voltage output on the white wire. And you're just going to physically have to set up where you have like a tape measure like I have, uh, i got a tape measure and uh, something that uh, you're measuring. I've got a block of wood, but the reflective quality of the material too uh, affects the uh, efficiency of the measurement on this. So a white paper has a reflectance ratio of 90%, gray paper reflectance ratio of 18%, and that's going to have uh, some effect on uh, the measurement that you take on the voltage output with respect to the distance. And then once you have those uh, minimum and maximum voltage levels for distance, where the maximum is uh, at the 10 centimeter uh, distance and the minimum voltage you get out from the, di the distance uh, sensor here, the IR sensor, is around 80 centimeters. Once you have those voltages, uh, those are the voltages that you're going to put in the map function. So you can see here from the original sketch uh, the limiting factor when you're using the 5 volt reference, uh, the default, uh, the analog to digital converter was only given uh, given us a low reading at 80 centimeters of 50 and a high reading of 400 at 10 centimeters. So we're, we weren't even able to get up to the 1023 and that's because uh, when we're using the 5 volt reference uh, it's only when you see the 5 volts that the analog to digital converter then gives you a, a binary number output that's representative of 5 volts which is 1023 and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, this particular sensor only has a maximum output of about 3.2 volts. So you have to lower that voltage ceiling. So with the 5 volt reference, if you take the 5 volts and divide it by 1023, you can get the smallest increment uh, that the analog to digital converter can, can recognize uh, is 4.8 millivolts. So at zero you get this unique binary number assigned and then at 4.8 millivolts it would be this binary number and then the next increment would be 9.6 millivolts. But if you have a change from 4.8 uh, say to 5 it's just going to stay here. Um, it's not going to step up with a, uh, a, a binary a representation uh, of 9.6. It has to go to 9.6 to have this unique binary number um, assigned to it. So if you have a smaller change than 4.8 uh, you're not going to see it. That's the lowest resolution. So if you can reduce this 5 volts um, and still split it up into 1023 pieces you can reduce uh, this, this increment that the uh, analog to digital converter will recognize. So you can see here by uh, what we mean by 10 bit, uh, including uh, the zero, uh, one times two to the zero bit position, um, 
the tenth bit is actually two to the ninth, one times two to the ninth. So if you add up all these values, that's how you get the 10 to the 23. So this, of course, is when you have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 5 volts. And you only, you only get that value when the analog read measures a value of 5 volts, and it's never going to reach that uh, with this IR sensor because the maximum output voltage is going to be about 3 volts. So I tried to come up with a graphical representation of what I'm trying to uh, say here. So if we have the 5 volt uh, default reference voltage, uh, we have 0 to 5 volts, and that's broken up into 1,023 unique uh, binary uh, number representations for, for each 4.8 millivolt increment. So if we reduce that, we're never going to use the 5 volts because that IR sensor doesn't uh, output uh, higher than 3 uh, volts. So if we reduce uh, that uh, reference voltage by using ex an external reference voltage, uh, say down to 2 volts, that 0 to 2 volts is still going to be broken up into 1,023 unique uh, digital you know, binary numbers and each one of those will represent, capable of representing uh, an increment as small as 2.0 millivolts. So that's how we gain the, the uh, re uh, resolution. Now I don't know what this translates into distance, what the smallest dis distance it, it detects, um, how, how small of a change uh, creates in distance creates uh, a 2.0 millivolt change. You have to figure that out uh, on your own. And it might, it might be unique, like, like I say, to the uh, reflective quality of the object you're trying to detect. And uh, you have to figure out the output, maximum, minimum output for your particular IR sensor. It might be a little bit different than the, uh, the graph and the data sheet. So once it has that reference, when an analog input is in, say the analog input is 5 volts, it knows what 5 volts is, and then it'll assign it, you know, it would assign it that unique uh, binary number. Uh, and if it was zero, it would then assign it, you know, the binary number for zero. And that's how it, it uh, knows what the analog input voltage is, and what, what digital output uh, to produce. So we see here the old sketch with the five volt reference. Uh, we were only able to get a maximum um, the highest output from the analog to digital converter was 400 and the lowest was 50. And then that, using this map function, was translated into distance where the, the minimum number uh, you get with the far, farthest distance and the largest, uh, uh, the higher value was with the minimum distance of 10 centimeters. So I've loaded the sketch using the 5 volt default reference. And here's the output that I'm getting right now. I have um, a sensor taped to a block of wood so I can free up one of my hands here. And I've got this other block of wood. And again, this is also dependent on uh, the reflective surface uh, of the object. So I've got this at about five inches. Uh, if you take into account the housing here, um, you know, it's maybe four and a half inches away from from the IR sensors here. So I'm reading just about 10 centimeters. So it's kind of close. So 10 centimeters is about 3.9 inches, I think. And then out here to 80 centimeters is about 31 inches. So that's about 31. And we're measuring about 64 centimeters. And I'm not even, uh, oh. I had my arms in the way. So we're reading about 67, and that's associated with 77 centimeters. So that's kind of close. It's not 80 centimeters. So again, as you can see, uh, with the block of wood back down to about four inches there, uh, we're not anywhere near uh, up to the 1023 uh, capable capability of the analog digital converter.
So in this particular case with the Arduino Uno, we can connect a, our own reference voltage at a ref right here. It's right there. And I have two 10K resistors and a 5K resistor that we end up with about 2.1 volts on the A ref pin. So I just took some standard resistors. I had a couple of 10K resistors uh, connecting from the 5 volts on the Arduino Uno uh, to ground. And then I tapped off of that with 2.5 volts through a 5K resistor. Now internally on the microcontroller uh, at the A ref pin, there's a 32K resistor to ground. So right here, I have another voltage divider, and the voltage here is going to be 32 divided by 32 plus the 5K uh, times the 2.5 volts. You get about, uh, I'm getting about uh, 2.1 volts uh, at A ref. Now let's take a look at what we have to add to the uh, sketch. So all we have to do is we have to add this line here, analog reference external. And you have to add this before you do an analog read. Now this is very important. You have an internal 5 volt reference by default. And if you add the external voltage to the A ref pin, if you do an analog read before you do uh, the analog reference external command, you have the uh, chance of shorting out that 5 volt uh, default reference to your uh, external voltage and it, you can damage your microcontroller. So it's very important that you do an analog reference external before you do your analog read. Now to be safe, what I did is I downloaded the sketch first and then I hooked up the external uh, voltage. Now you can see here, uh, I previously measured the highest uh, output and the lowest output uh, reading and I'm able to get to 1023 associated with the 10 centimeters and I got down as low to uh, 178 for the farthest distance of 80 centimeters. But now I'm utilizing the uh, full range of that analog to digital converter. So I've got the sketch loaded and you can see there I have my uh, voltage uh, connected through the 5K resistor to the A ref pin. Make sure you connect it to the A, A ref pin because ground is right next to it. So you can see now with the block of wood at about 4 inches, I'm able to get to uh, 1023 for the output on the analog to digital, digital converter and associating that with 10 centimeters and out to 31 inches which is about 80 centimeters oh, if I get my elbow out of the way I'm measuring 81 centimeters so I've got more accuracy here and I've got better resolution so to summarize, for this particular Sharp IR distance sensor, uh, to get a better reading, a better resolution, and to maximize and utilize the full capabilities of the onboard 10-bit analog to digital converter uh, on the Arduino Uno, we used an external voltage source instead of the default 5-volt uh, voltage source. Uh, and all you have to do is you have to make sure that you do an analog reference external before you do an analog read when you have an external a voltage source hooked up to that a ref pin because you then have the uh, you have the ability to short out that plus 5 volt default reference with your externally applied uh, voltage so be careful because then you know you can blow up that uh, microcontroller. So you just need to add the analog reference uh, external for the Arduino Uno and you can determine or utilize your own uh, external reference voltage to better uh, match the output for the sensor that you might be uh, measuring. The output might not be a maximum of 5 volts, it could be lower. So that's uh, one of the benefits of this external 
externally applied reference. So I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching.